with him. All right, 54-47, seven-point lead for Greerhausen. Four minutes and 27 left before the halftime break, and Chito Luis Saga is quarterbacking for the coffee men. Butch Hayes is on him. Brown goes up for the frontal assault to the basket, and we've got a foul. Well, that's the advantage that Ricardo Brown has over wow. Tim Coloso. He's a little bit shorter, but he's a lot quicker. That time he just went right around Coloso. He'll get two foul shots. Definitely, this young man has earned uh, what seems to a lot of people as a phenomenal salary. Brown. Nine points for him tonight, and he just got down to Beerhausen lead to six. Five team fouls for great days. Four for Beerhausen, two for two from the strike for Ricky Brown. And here's Tim Coloso. Well, Ricky has ten points in the ball game. Butch Hayes gets it over to Mon Fernandez. We haven't heard very much from the guns of Mon lately. Manny Victorino seems to be doing a good job on him, and he did another good job on him that time. Ricky Brown with a shuffle down court. Gets it from Carpio, puts it up from an oblique angle, and misses. Coloso loses control of the leather. Chito Lisaga controls for great taste. Here's Joey Carpio, the snapshot. Yes. yes. And when it's going good, everything goes good. Good shooter's bounce coming from Joey Coppio. That was a cliffhanger of a shot. And it trimmed down to Beerhausen and lead to three. A shooter loves when he hits a shot like that, Joe. He's going to have a traveling violation, I believe. He, a shooter loves when he hits a shot like that because he figures, figures it was a shot that he should have missed, but instead he made. It's like pennies from heaven. Three minutes and 29 seconds left before halftime. Team Colosio is picking Ricardo Brown up high. And you can very well understand the rationale behind that. They want to avert uh, the wanted fast break of great pace, but that didn't stop Alalor from cutting right through everybody and parting the Red Sea as Moses did. And you notice that the great taste team, they have good movement on offense. They have the offside guy cutting to the basket. One point oh, game. Great defense coming from Victorino on Mon Fernandez. Looks like we're going to have a complete change of fortunes with this play. Yes, sir. The lead is right back to Great Face. 55 54. As soon as Ricardo Brown checked back into the ball game, the momentum went back to the Great Face Club. What a guy. Standing only 5 feet 11, but he can control the outcome and the tempo of the game. And that was a good counter basket by Butch Hayes for his 19th marker tonight. He's fast catching up with his counterpart, Jeff Collins. Who is sitting it out on the bench? Well, Butch is certainly making hay while the sun shines. Here's Ricky Brown, hounded by Team Coloso. Manny Victorino against Ricky Relosa. Mon Fernandez is on Joey Carpio. The hook shot by Manny. Well, Manny's showing everyone he has a hook shot also. Relosa comes back the other way. He's going to go one on one. Well, we've never seen a more phenomenal metamorphosis from a journeyman center to a superstar like that of Manny Victorino. All right, unproductive thrust by Beerhausen. They're down by one. They're down by one still after that failure by Joey Carpio. And the Beerhausens are running the break. He pulls up. Cordero does. And, oh, he didn't have the shooter's bounce. Well, Victorino has six defensive rebounds so far here in the first half. Ricky Brown grows beyond his screen, set up for him, especially by Joey Carpio to get his 12th point of the evening. Three-point lead for great taste. And this game, if we may use a tire cliche, is being played again in spurts. We've been using that for the last two or three coverages, but that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it happens sometimes. Hayes is going to get an easy shot at the basket. Good pass from Fernandez. 21 points for Butch Hayes, just a basket shy of Collins' output. Here's Manny Victorino, gets it right back to Ricky Brown. A, a semi-hook attempted by Ricky. Wow, look at the way the ball rimmed in. Well, Coach Carbonell is calling out for goaltending, but Victorino did not touch the ball, and Ricardo Brown gets to two. Three-point lead for great taste. Not very many fast breaks here in the second quarter, but... The game is fast moving, Joe. They're not really taking too much time. They're getting good shots at the basket. Most of the time, they're making them. That's right. Even in the half-court offense of Beerhausen, you see a lot of motion offense on the part of the Brewmasters. 61-60. One-point game on you. We're down to 34 seconds in the first half. Aleo Lelour versus Mon Fernandez. Ricky Brown versus Team Coloso. Brown prepares to make his move. He takes it on a fadeaway from Juan Fernandez. It's 16 points for Ricky Brown. Three-point lead for Great Days. Good steal by Chito Loisaga. He banks it in on a reverse layup. 
Oh, good defensive plays coming from the Great Chase Club here at the end of the second quarter. Oh, they're going to come up. No, Butch Hayes is going to get the ball back, try a three-point shot. It, it rims off. The coffee men looking to beat the clock. Alalor did. And the first half is over. A seven-point lead for Great Chase in the wink of an eye. We'll be right back. Point deficit to overcome at 67 62, and Monte Victorino just buying it in for another seven point lead for the coffee man. I know Manning was looking for a foul on that play, but no foul was called. We're at 34 seconds into the third period. Butch Hayes already has 25 points. He has already overrun Collins, who has been kept in the freezer. I wonder why for such a long time. Well, he's on the court right now. You can see him out there on a the fast break. It's Ricardo Brown's gonna have to run the basketball down. Ricky missing from the corner, and the ball goes off the floor. The coffee men are going to keep it. When you think about it, though, that was not a bad shot because Ricky is a good outside shooter, but Collins was right underneath the basket. And Collins goes up for the <laughs> He and Cordero got entangled in midair, and Cordero gave him dagger wow, looks. Colossal. Well, maybe we can see this one on slow-mo and find out exactly why <laughs> Cordero gave Collins dagger looks. Anyway, the foul was called on Team Colosso. That was his third personal. Collins goes to the line. 24 points. So, in this sideshow of a shooting duel between Butch Hayes and Jeff Collins, the score is dead even at 25 all. The game score is 71 for Great Day, 62 for Beerhausen. That's a two-point better advantage than they enjoyed at Lemon Time. Rico Rilosa versus Jeff Collins. Low posting, going up for a squeeze shot. He was looking for a foul. He didn't get the whistle. A oh, bad outlet pass that time. It's going to be a 4-on-1 fast break. Good defensive play by Joel Bernal. A minute and 18 seconds gone by in the third period. Still a nine-point deficit being nursed by Beerhausen. Set shot by Jeff Collins. He misses the rebound, falling right. Butch <laughs> Hayes. It was Jeff Collins who pulled down the rebound. Here is Joel Bernal. Ed Cordero has the unenviable task of trying to contain Ricky Brown. Ricky uh, ran past Cordero, put it in. There's no way Ed Cordero can stick Ricardo Brown. He may be a lot taller, but he lacks a lot in quickness. Definitely. By the way, get ready for the entertainment event of the year as Hang 10 presents five stars in rhythm featuring the best of Aliyu 84. Martini Vera, Bernie Varga, Gary Valenciano, Jaja Padilla, and Nanit Inventor. As you see, a smiling Butch Hayes come out of the... Well, that was Jeff Collins Jeff that Collins. time. Yes, great jumping ability shown by Jeff Collins that time. Looked like he took off about 15 feet from the basket. Right. <laughs> By the way, oh, here is Butch Hayes. Oh, oh move inside. Yes. Wow. And it's going to count. What a move. Wow, Let's see if we can see this one again. Well, if Sugar Ray Leonard has what is known as the windmill punch, Butch Hayes has this counterpart in basketball, the windmill shot. What a shot. Great move. All right, going back to the entertainment event of the year I was telling you about, Five Stars in Rhythm will be shown on Saturday, December 8th at the University of Life Coliseum, 7.30 p.m. Tickets are exclusively available at all McDonald's branches, so get your tickets now before they run out. Well, Double-digit advantage now for Great Taste. Yes, Great Taste still has a 10-point lead. They've increased the lead by three since halftime. As Manny Victorino starting to get the feel of it down low. He scores underneath. Nine points tonight for Manny Victorino and a 12-point lead for great taste. And unless the beer house and brewmasters can get their act together, the coffee men are threatening to blow this game wide open. Hayes on an aerial pass to Juan Fernandez. Quick assist to Relosa. And Collins was a little slow that time on the cutting Relosa. That's why he got the easy basket. Victorino for the easy two. Good pass from Ricardo Brown. Back to a dozen point lead for Great Taste, looking to avenge their first elimination round defeat at the hands of the Brewmasters. That was the only defeat they, have, they suffered so far in this third conference. Butch Hayes in another off balance shot, and this time it won't go. Pass break being fashioned by the coffee men. Ricky Brown loses it to Butch Hayes. Cordero picks it up. A counter fast break in the making here for Beerhausen. Oh, too wide off the glass. Cordero will take it. He misses likewise. Mon Fernandez loses the ball to Alejo Alolor. 
three golden opportunities bungled by the Brewmasters. And Alonor was caught for a step.